So before this video gets started, I wanted to tell you all about a new company called Betty, which helps you get access to higher paying jobs and within minutes. You can fill out the link below to sign up for Fetty and they're going to start sending you jobs and they're looking for gig workers who have experience so you can get higher paying jobs, higher earnings and potentially even an easy job that pays you a ton of money. So stop applying for tons of jobs and use Fetty with our link below so you can get jobs sent to you automatically and who knows maybe you could actually land the job of your dreams and make way more money than you ever dreamed of so get started with Fetty completely for free and within minutes you'll get jobs sent right to you is, is it safe to take an uber or lyft or is it safe to drive uber and lyft in my opinion this is one of the biggest reasons why i personally quit driving for uber and lyft is for safety I've had too many bad experiences as a driver where I just don't feel safe taking strangers in my car. Shoot a story time. Um, I don't know. I've had one time I was taking somebody to the bars. These two dudes, they're super drunk, touching me and paying, asking, putting money in my hand to go out to the bars with them. And then, like, grabbing me, he, like, grabbed onto my hand and wouldn't let go. That's kind of sus. And he's, like, really flirting with me. These older, older dudes. I'm like, and it, like, sucks when you're, like, oh, I have to do this for money. Like, I have no other way. And it's, like, I feel like, honestly, after that, I kind of realized, like, every time, you're every time you pick somebody up, like, you don't know who it's going to be. Yeah, it's a risk every time. You don't know who they are. And newsflash, my friends, is you as a driver have to do a background check and go through all this stuff, but your passengers don't. Your passengers don't have to do background checks. Your passengers can just use a fake number, use a fake name. I have a friend who her name on Uber is Kanye West. That's the name she chose. And she doesn't have a picture. She just hops into the car and boom, you're like, I don't know if there's a man, a woman, whatever. They're hopping in. And, you you know, you can be fresh out of jail. You can literally be, have a warrant out for your arrest and still somehow manage to get signed up with Uber. Yeah, literally. It's a very real risk. And I'll just say this. I would not recommend any of my family members to drive for Uber and Lyft purely for safety reasons. I'd be like, honestly, I would probably look for another job that's safer. And you hear story after story after story on the, on the news about an Uber driver who got, in, I don't want to get this video demonetized, but some bad things happened to them. And it's just, it's just not a safe thing to do. So if you, if this is a real concern about you or that you have, um, I would honestly probably just not drive. It's not worth taking that risk. And if you want to drive during the day only, that's definitely way safer. I used to drive at night, sometimes to like 2, 3 a.m. And I'm now that I think back, I'm like, that was honestly very like dumb of me to do because it's just not safe putting yourself in that position. You're picking somebody, picking these people up from the bars, pick, going, picking up these people, dropping them up, off at their house at 2, 3 a.m., you're alone. You can't. You don't have anybody with you. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. You know what they say, nothing good happens after midnight, right? And again, big shout out to Fetty, the new company that is gonna help you get higher paying jobs. So use the link below. It only takes two minutes. You just fill out a couple of questions. So use the link below for Fetty and they're gonna help you get a better job. Thanks for watching, guys.